Hello, how are you? This is our next CVC spelling with digraphs, but we also cover CV words and CVCV. Um, just because some of these are controlled vowels don't occur in CVC words. Yes, I'll run through that in a sec. Now, an activity that I discovered by accident that isn't included in this pack, um, it was just when I was doing the last activity, is matching the pictures to the sound. So we've got er, er, and er, three different spellings for the one sound. Air and air, so two different spellings. Or and or, then we've got R and all. Yeah, we've also got er as in germ, her, fern, but it also makes the sound ah in tiger and water. Yes? So we'll cover them in a sec. Um, this is a really good pack to go with the CVC stage seven, um, just because that breaks up the way we use these different sounds, um, gets you used to them, used to the different spellings, and this is a good extension pack. But anyway, all right, so for this one, you can match up. So we've got the word germ. So these are printed back and front, which is the er sound. Turn, which is this er sound, fold it over. So just a matching game. Or for lawn, er for burn. This one is dairy, air for dairy. Is that still on camera? Yeah. Um, or for torch, you can go over here. Am I still on? Yep, we're good. Uh, this one is, what is it? Fair, so this one here. This one is raw. Same with lawn. Fork is this or <laughs> this is my viper. Uh, that's a different er. I'm going to deal with that one later. Uh, where? So this air sound. Water, same as viper. It's at the end of the word. So you can go over there. Farm is the R sound down here. All, ball. There you go. So I've got a number of different ones. Hang on, that way? No, er. There we go. Bird. So er in germ, er in burn and turn, er in bird, or in raw and lawn, air in fair and dairy, air in where. Then we've got our er in viper. Oh, that's not on camera. There we go. Viper and water. Shift you over there. All in bowl, or in fork and torch, are in farm, and there's a shark in there somewhere too. So that's one activity you can do. Let me put our R controlled vowels over here and the pictures. There we go. Um, these are the letters from the teapot set. Mine still have the Velcro on the back because I could think of better things to do than cutting out a set of letters for each of these packs. So just reuse them um, or cut them out if you want to. Entirely up to you. So this one here, we're going to do CVC words first. Um, you may want to split these. Probably should have done that first, but... Okay, so I know fairy, viper, dirt, herd, corn, fur goes over here. Because it breaks... That's uh, just not a CVC word. Her, saw, car, pear, pear, paw. All right, there we go. That's enough for us to play with. So I'm going to pick this one first. Ah, pear. It's one of these. Hang on. So we've got CVC words, which would be consonant, vowel, consonant. Yes? We've also got CV words. I picked it up, so I'll just do that first. This is pear. So it is a pert. Pert. And air. It's only a consonant vowel, this one, yeah? And then we can practice writing it. Per, air, pair, with the correct spelling. Now we do have this pair. So we need to change the spelling for this one. So it sounds exactly the same. I don't have another P, let's write one. There you go, per, air, per, air. Different spellings, completely different meanings. Yeah? All right, let's go. We've done those two. Wipe that clean again. All right, my viper. Should I go water? It actually looks like water. 
Viper's a snake. He's a happy little snake. He's just not very angry like a viper seems to be. All right, water. What? In this case, which we don't cover yet, we wait till the older years, the at is an ot. What? Ot. T. Er. Which? What? Ot. T. Ah. We say water. Yeah? Same with viper, which we can spell now. The. I. P. Ah. There. We'll go that side. Viper. And do we have another one like that? No, not at the moment. So to see the difference, let's go her. Her. Er. Exactly the same spelling, but this one, we don't say ha, huh, we say her. Sorry, that wasn't even on camera. Oh, there you go. Viper and her. Both using this ER, R controlled vowel digraph. I hope that makes sense. Um, if anything doesn't make sense, just ask in the comments and I can hopefully clear that up for you. Okay, we've got another CV. K, R. There you go, because it's one sound. Oh, back to the beginning. Um, a digraph is two letters, officially, um, that make one sound. Yes? We've also, these are trigraphs, but I didn't need to write the word for all the different ones. Okay, so we've got car, k, r, star would be a CCV. I probably shouldn't have even bothered saying that, but let me do it anyway. S, t, r, yeah. And there's no reason why you won't go and do different words um, now that you've got to this stage. Yeah, um, I did want to, you know, as soon as uh, particularly or... No, I'm just going to stop talking there because I'm going to mess it up. Uh, let's move to the next one. We will do a or one. So, put or practice writing it again. Um, this one. Or again, if you're stuck, it's on the back there. Put a s. There you go. Um, you can also practice once you've, or if you don't want to use the cutouts, um, or once you've practiced enough with the cutouts, you can actually start spelling in the boxes with your pen and wipe it clean. All right, have I covered enough? Not that you're going to answer me because this is a recording and you're not here. Um, sir was another one because our er sound comes at the end of the word. Which, can we see our sir? There we go. S er. And I'm pretty sure, no, nope, all as well for where's a bowl or tall. There we go. I'll flip it over. T all. Same as but all. It is good having the letters to just switch around. You can make your rhyming words as well. So that would be another activity under here. Ball, fall. Mall, tall, um, you could go CCV, stall, um, that'll do off the top of my head. Do you see how you can use these activities? Um, I hope that is helpful. You've also got, just before I go, same as in the other spelling packs. Let me move that out the way. So this one, you've got two pages of the words. And then two pages of the pictures and a blank if you want to add in any more words. I've just pulled out the wrong, have I? Yeah, I just pulled out the wrong pack. I was supposed to grab it from here. Don't mind me. Hang on a sec. I'm good to go again. I've got that many CCV, CVC, whatever packs around. I really enjoy making these now. They used to stress me out. Um, but I've learnt so much. Anyway. So we've got these two activities included. We've got the CCV and CV. I don't know if anyone even cares, but um, I've put that there and, you know, talk about it in the videos because I really want you to understand how our words are built and just to see the patterns in the words as well. I figure, look, there's my kitty. Hi, kitty. Sorry. <laughs> um, I figure as well in giving you that, yeah, so just to understand and have that knowledge. Um, and once you look for patterns, that should help with spelling as well. Yeah? Okay. Anyway, so we've got our two sheets of pictures. I'll probably focus on one at a time. 
this one is air as in where, which is in here somewhere. All right, need to spread out my pictures. We don't need the letters anymore. You can just go away. Oh my goodness. Here we go. There. Where? Uh, that one was fair. Am I doing this on camera? Almost. There we go. Um, chair. So air as in chair. And then we've got air as in pair as well. Again, in here somewhere. Oh, I'm just, hang on. No, no, you're not in there. Ah, uh, there's four as in four or in four. Um, just because it is a high frequency word and a, it's not technically a sight word, um, but I didn't have a picture for it. I have no idea where my pair is. Never mind. We've got a uh, as in water, a uh, as in viper, uh, still a uh, as in ruler, air as in pear, where's a bear, there's a paw, or as in paw, or as in saw, air as in dairy. Did he not make it? Nope, that one's over this side. There you go. All right, do you get the point? Yes? Sorry, you don't need me to go through that over and over. Um, so we tip all them that side up. So picture side up. They should have been the other way. Picture side up for this one. So we're matching the pictures to the words now. Chair, pair, where. As you do it more and more, you'll get used to the words as well without having to check. Fair, sir, tall. Ruler, my special viper, there you go. All right, so you're matching the pictures to the words for that one. And then same activity, but obviously couldn't fit it all on one page. So matching the words to the pictures here, that one's Dawn. Um, and then the pictures to the words on this one. Now, I think I'm done. I think I've shown you everything. Um, you can also use these activities to underline the different R-controlled vowels and to sound them out as you go. There's a ton of different ways. Um, I hope I've given you uh, enough to go on and enough ideas as well. Another one is to match these up. So either underlining them or matching the cards up on top of them. And I'm gonna stop talking now. Yes, that'll do. <laughs> Sorry, good night. This is my first night video. Yeah, you can probably tell. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.